So if you've ever seen or played the mobile game Ghost Pop, then you'd know it's a pretty simple one mechanic based game. What I'm going to do is go from start to finish in teaching you the creation of this type of mobile game. I'm going to include setting up Unity for mobile testing, the mechanics of the game itself, the endless styled gameplay loop, the upgrades, saving, ads, and maybe even in-app purchases and other features that you guys suggest. This video itself will be covering the setting up Unity for mobile testing part, but just before we get into that, i just like to tell you that after about 5 days of back and forth communication from their lovely support team, I've created a Patreon page. So there's only 3 tiers, as I believe you guys donating any more money is a waste, but if you have a spare dollar I would really appreciate if you could support me. There's a fancy Discord role for my Discord server, and there's also a lot of other rewards that you can see for yourself, so go check that out. Thank you so much. So let's get straight into it. Now I'm going to install the latest version of Unity, so in the Unity Hub, I'm going to go Installs, I'm going to click on Add, OK. Uh, Unity 2019.2.11, that is the latest one. Okay, make sure you tick Android and iOS build support. You don't have to have both, but whatever one you're going to be testing the game on. Now it is crucial that you have a mobile device to test this on. Okay, and I will cover Android and iOS. So click done. Probably don't need WebGL. Okay, um, don't need any of that unless you want some other languages. And click done. Click yes. And Unity will now go ahead and install the latest version for you. So just wait till that's done and then we can continue on. Now once it's installed what we can do is we can go to our projects tab and add a new project. Now I'm going to select the newly fresh installed Unity version and I'm going to select 3D. Now I'm going to call this uh, mobile tutorial. Awesome. So. Once it's created, it should come up with a nice little Unity editor. Now, the first thing that I want to do is plug in my phone so I can test it, okay? But before I can do that, I'm going to go over to build settings and I'm going to switch. Now I've got an iPhone, so I'm going to select iOS, okay? I'm going to switch the platform. I've just plugged in my phone and I'm just trusting it on the actual phone itself. This will pop up, that's fine. So the next thing we can do is we can go to edit, project settings, and if we go to the editor, we can change the device from none to any iOS device, okay? The next thing you're gonna wanna make sure that you have installed is iTunes. So, you need iTunes installed to be able to use Unity's remote to be able to test your game without building it on a Mac. Okay, because I'm on a Windows computer. Same goes for Android. You can switch platform for Android. So if you go to edit and then preferences, and if we scroll down, have a look, I'm going to make sure you have the JDK installed with Unity. Okay, the SDK tools installed with Unity. And you can also optionally have the NDK installed with Unity, okay? It says I'm missing the recommended version with Unity help, okay? That's because I've installed it manually. Now, to do that, we can simply go on to Google and we can search Android NDK, okay? And we head over to the developer Android and we can just download the correct version for your Mac, Linux or Windows system. Okay, download that, install it and make sure you let Unity know where it is. Once that is installed, I'm going to record my screen. I'm going to open Unity Remote. Now, I'm going to set this to iPhone, set it to iPhone XR Portrait because I have an iPhone XR and if I hit play, you should be able to see on my phone screen that we've loaded up a weld. So obviously we can change the directional light, okay, gets darker on the screen, 
it gets darker in Unity. Awesome. So this was a very simple um, tutorial. This is just getting you set up. Uh, the next one will obviously start working on the mechanics for the game itself and we'll continue on for there. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.